Hi, I'm Carol Angela Davis coming to you via Skype. Today is Thursday, it's April 7th, 2011. We're going to talk to you today about some business news. Of course, uh, you know, who's sucking the life out of the country? I mean, which companies are just not paying taxes and in many cases getting tremendous refunds? You're not going to believe this list, but guess who's on it? And I know you know this. Oil companies, banks, Goldman Sachs. I mean, these companies ought to be ashamed of themselves. Wait till you hear how they are literally sucking the life out of the U.S. economy, refusing to pay taxes, taking advantage of every loophole they can possibly find, and at the end of the day, they are going to destroy the country. Not that they care, because by the time they do that, they will have leveraged themselves overseas to such an extent that it just won't matter. The only people who will have problems will be us. That's right. Stay tuned. I'll be right back right after this. Attention all Medicare beneficiaries who need assistance getting around their home. Imagine one scooter or power chair that could improve your mobility and your life. One Medicare benefit that, with private insurance, may entitle you to pay little to nothing to own it. One company that can make it all happen. Your power chair will be paid in full. The Scooter Store. Call the Scooter Store for free information today. Call 1-800-461-9430 and we'll send you this lighted magnifier just for calling. Call the Scooter Store now. Hi, I'm Carol Angela Davis. Thank you for joining me on Thursday, April 7, 2011. We have some news for you on money in America. We're getting closer to that, to tax day. So I wonder, isn't it comforting to know that while you struggle to pay your taxes, some of the most profitable companies in America, guess what? They get to pay no taxes. None. Nada. Zip. Nothing. Yes, right. General Electric, let's start there. That is the nation's largest corporation. It reported worldwide profits of $14.2 billion. And you are probably thinking, well, I know they had to pay some taxes. But of that, the company says $5.1 billion came from its operations right here in the good old United States of America. But how much did it pay in taxes right here in the good old United States of America? It paid nothing. That's right. GE paid nothing. It, in fact, claimed a tax benefit of $3.2 billion. Now, you just think about what your neighbor could, could have done with just one-tenth of one percent of that $3.2 billion. Let's forget about the fourteen. Let's just go to the $3.2 billion. What could your neighborhood have done with that money? How many houses could have been saved? How many people could have stepped out of foreclosure? How many children could have gotten textbooks or lunches? It's, it's very, very, very disgraceful. Now, apparently GE concentrates its profits offshore. Today, what companies pay, and I'm talking big companies like GE, has fallen from about 30% of all federal revenue in the mid-1950s to about 6.6% as of 2009. That is a humongous drop. These companies want to pay even less. They are not going to stop until they pay even less and get even more back from the feds, even if they have to take everything we have and strip this company, make this country naked. And that is a very bad thing. You are picking up the slack for these big companies. Now, we all know that we don't have a problem with companies needing to fund innovation. That is critical. And we understand that, and they deserve breaks for that, okay? But enough is enough, because while they're slashing Medicaid and Medicare and taking away the unemployment insurance, guess what? They're giving out corporate welfare. We'd all like a piece of that pie, because that pie is amazing. All right, so what are the taxpayers getting in return from GE? Because I know you're thinking, well, we must be getting something, and we are getting some jobs, but guess what? Since 2002, the company has eliminated, cut, gotten rid of, decimated one-fifth of its workforce in the United States. That's right. So, come on now. During the same time, its offshore profits have risen to $92 billion, with a B, from $15 billion. Can you imagine that? Okay, GE, we should tell you, is not alone. This information, just so you know, it does come to us from Senator Bernie Sanders' website, so you may want to check that website out so you know what's going on. But I'll give you the rundown real quickly. ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil's 2009 profits totaled $19 billion, yet according to its SEC filings, the company received a $156 million rebate from the IRS, and it paid no federal taxes. That's right. Bank of America. 
so sick of them. Bank of America made $4.4 billion in profits last year. Now, how many loans did they get the floor closed on? Okay, let's just talk. Let's, we don't even have to go there. Bank of America made $4.4 billion in profits last year. This was after it received a $1 trillion bailout from the Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department and a $1.9 billion tax refund from the IRS, and they can't figure out how to do a loan modification for some of these mortgages. They can't figure out how to stop these foreclosures. All they want to do is take, 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 and take that property out of your hands and sell to somebody else. It is an absolute win for these banks there. I don't see any downside in the banking business at all in this country. The only downside is on the depositors, us. So keep that in mind when you're doing business with Bank of America. Okay, let's go on. General Electric, I talked to you about General Electric. Chevron. Chevron's IRS refund last year totaled $19 million, but its 2009 profits came to $10 billion. Okay? Can't stand the oil companies. Boeing. Boeing received a $30 billion contract from the Pentagon to build 179 airborne tankers. It also received a $124 million refund from the IRS. You're lucky if you get $1,000. Okay? Valero Energy, ah, oh, the energy companies, they just keep screwing up the country. Valero Energy made $68 billion, yes, with a B, billion dollars in sales and received a $157 million tax refund check. Got that from the good old IRS over the past three years. It has received $134 million in tax breaks. Of course, that is thanks to the oil and gas manufacturing tax reduction. Now, did you see that, any of that? Did you... Any of that in the pump? I mean, did your, did, your, did your gas prices go down? I mean, every time they get an opportunity to raise them, they raise them. Did any gas price? Matter of fact, the gas prices have gone up 20 cents a gallon since February, okay? Goldman Sachs. Why is it that every time there's some drama involving some money and it's some negative drama, Goldman Sachs is somewhere at the center of it? Okay, here's Goldman Sachs. It paid 1.1% of its 2008 income in taxes yet. It made a profit of $2.3 billion, and guess how much it received from the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Treasury Department? A mere $800 billion. Stop it. How come these people have no shame? They have no shame. Citigroup, mm-hmm. Profits last year totaled more than $4 billion, but it paid zero zip dollars, uh, zero dollars in federal income tax, and it received... Uh, a $2.5 trillion bailout from the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Treasury. And how about another energy company? How come in this list, so many energy companies in this mess? ConocoPhillips, uh, its profits from 2007 through 2009 totaled $16 billion, but it was still awarded $451 million in tax breaks. Come on, guys. Have you no shame? We're out here struggling. People are losing their houses. Banks refuse to modify. I can't tell you how many stories come to me about uh, I've been trying to modify my loan for four years and they've asked me for the same piece of paper ten times and every time they ask me for it I send it and then they call me back about a month later and say they can't find it. I mean it is a game. It is a scam. It is a joke. And yet they're getting the benefits of the federal government. We do not have a problem pushing innovation. We do not have a problem supporting capitalism, supporting growth. All we're asking is that you pay us an honest day's wage for an honest day's work, a livable wage. We can take care of our children, stop stripping the company, country of jobs, stop, stop stripping the country of money, stop taking all your money overseas. That's all we're asking. If you don't care that much about the country, then take everything, leave. Go to the third world countries or go to China, go somewhere, but don't come here and use us to make your money and then refuse to be supportive of us as a country. That's all we're asking. I'm Carol Angela Davis. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Reach me on Gmail if you like. Carol Angela Davis at gmail.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.